No website can exist without two things, a domain name, such as yourdomain.com, and a hosting account. A hosting account is where you will store your website files so that when someone types in your domain name into their browser, your website will appear as you've designed it. There are tons of options out there when it comes to domain names and hosting, so picking the right one can certainly be overwhelming. So for this particular course, I'll make some recommendations that I personally either use currently or have used in the past, as well as have set my clients up with. You, of course, are welcome to choose one of those providers or any other provider out there that you would like to go with. Just make sure that you select a hosting company that allows you full control of your domain name and hosting package and allows you to automatically install Joomla or other website packages. You also want to, of course, take in cost into consideration and you want to take into consideration their support as well. So if you don't go with one of the ones that I recommend, uh, which I have selected based on the quality of their product and the quality of the service that they provide, just make sure that you test those things out. At least try talking to them, see how their customer service is before you go with them. Since I can't cover all the hosting options out there, I'm going to select one, which is HostGator, and we'll walk through that. It's very easy to sign up, uh, and this is going to be a standard process for most of these sites out here. But you'll see when you go to HostGator, if you do have any questions, they have live chat that you can jump on to. And you can click on View Web Hosting Plans to see what they have. Here they have three packages. Uh, typically, if you are just going to have one website, it's a smaller website, this basic plan is going to be all that you need. When I set up my hosting on HostGator, I actually selected this baby plan because I had I wanted to have unlimited domains. I did have multiple domains that I wanted to upload, and so the baby plan worked best for me. But let's say you want to go with the Hatchling Plan. You can select order now and you'll be taken to the form where you can actually go ahead and one, register a domain name if you don't have one already and go ahead and set up your hosting plan. So if you are going to register a new domain, you can enter that here. But if you already own one, whether it's with HostGator or GoDaddy or Bluehost or whoever you have your domain with, that's fine. You can select that option, enter your domain here. You will then just have to connect your domain name and hosting account. It will automatically select the plans for you. Uh, you can select how long you want to sign up for, a month, six months, 12 months. Uh, the price, of course, is going to change depending on that. But if you ever need to cancel, and this, this is typical with most hosting companies, but again, this is something you want to check with, that if you need to cancel, you can cancel and you can get your money back for the portion of time that you have not used. So don't be too worried about signing up for a longer time frame. You can go ahead and enter a username and password that you would like to use, or excuse me, a security pin that you would like to use. Down below, here's where you'll enter your contact information. And of course, if you want to pay by credit card or PayPal, you can select that here. Most hosting companies are going to give you a couple add-ons. Again, these add-ons are just that. They're add-ons. You do not have to have these to make your website work. These are products that your hosting company will offer to you that cost additional money, but it is not required. Uh, you can choose to protect your domain, which means that when you purchase a domain, it is public information who owns that domain name and your contact information will be displayed. If you do not like that, you can choose to add that to your package. This is giving you the option to protect your site from fraud and malware, but we are going to talk a, a more about that in another video. So if you would like to do that, that's great. If not, again, that's not required. Site backup, we are going to be backing up your site in another video. And so if you would like them to do it automatically for you, you can choose to have that done here. And most hosting companies are going to offer to help you with SEO 
honestly, for $15 in a year, you're not really going to get anything. They might submit your website to a couple search engines, but that's not going to get you ranked. It's just more likely going to put money in their pocket. If you have a coupon code, you can use it. It's going to give you a breakdown of your cost and how long you have your hosting for. You click I've read on the terms and click create account. You'll get a couple emails that will have your username and password. So once you have that, then we're going to go ahead and take a look at how to actually get Joomla installed on your hosting plan super quickly. So let's do that.